wife from Atlanta, Georgia. Beautiful, wonderfully made by God. Welcome to the prediction. Hello, hello, hello to all my uniques out there. This is your favorite girl, Akudo. Welcome to another video. For today, from the title, Jenny Maya is pregnant, okay? And then you ask yourself, mm, she's pregnant, but she was not pregnant the last time. What's going on? To all my returning subscribers, hello, welcome back. For those of you that are not part of my family, what are you waiting for? You watch all the videos, you might as well come join us. You see the red button that says subscribe, click on that button. Wait for the notification bell, click on that one too. So you will be the first to see my videos once they drop. Now, let's jump right into it. What will make a woman decide to have a child in the second marriage? Why the reason why the first marriage ended was because she didn't want a child. What will make a woman do that? I want you to think. As you're thinking, let me share my, my, um, let me share my screen so you can see the video where Jay-Z, the husband, was trying to take a look at the child, okay? I want you to watch this. While you're thinking about that answer, listen to this. Okay, baby, Jay, here I come. <laughs> this is the doctor talking to you. It's too hard. You landed on it. You landed right on it. See, because if you go, baby I'm Jay, right there. this is your daddy. This is your daddy. daddy. Did you guys hear that? He said, Baby Jay, this is your daddy. This is your daddy, baby Jay. This is your daddy. What will make her Jenny in her first marriage? This is her second marriage. In the first marriage, she was married and she said she did not want a child. The reason why that marriage ended was because she did not want a child. Now, in this new marriage, her second marriage, she's pregnant. We are happy for her. They look so good together. She looks beautiful, you know, pregnant. But I wanted to come to you guys when I saw this. I follow her on Instagram. So I got this from her Instagram page. When I saw this, I was like, hmm. What will make a woman decide to have a child in the first in the second marriage when the first marriage broke up because she didn't want a child? What changed her mind? And then I started looking. You will see a lot of things. Will you say it is love? Would you say she loves Jay-Z more than she loved her first husband? Could we say that that was the reason? Or do you think maybe she is older? She is more matured? Maybe she changed her mind because of other things. There was a post where, I don't know whether you remember when Gabriel, Gabriel Union and I think Dwayne Wade, when they posted a picture of their child, you remember she wrote under the caption, what are you guys doing to my uterus, dude? You know, what are you guys, like her mind has started changing a little bit. Like, should I have a child? Shouldn't I have a child? Maybe I should change my mind. Maybe something changed her mind. She talks about in this her marriage, she has trust, she has respect. They are coming from families where they never had all those. They never had a stable you know, marriage to look up to or stable family, husband and wife, ideal marriage to look up to. So they are coming from two different families that are almost the same. And maybe finally, she has finally found the rib of her rib, maybe the flesh of her flesh, maybe the bone of her bone. There is something about this guy that made her decide, you know what? They haven't even been married long. They haven't even been married long and already she's pregnant. Why the other marriage ended? Because she didn't want a child. Sometimes I wanted to talk, come to my sisters and also talk to you, my brothers, my unique sisters and unique brothers. Sometimes a woman is focused on some other stuff. Maybe sometimes some women are saying, you know what? I don't even know who I am right now. To be able, you know, being a mother requires 
that nurturing side of you requires patience, requires acceptance, requires a lot. Being a mother requires a lot from you as a woman. So sometimes some women, maybe Jenny did it right. She felt maybe in her first marriage, she felt this is just me thinking. Maybe she felt I wasn't, you know, I wasn't there enough to know who I am as a person because you have to share who you are now with another individual, a baby who is going to depend on you, who is going to do everything depending that you are going to be that stable background, that stable environment, that stable person she or he needs in their life. So maybe she wanted to mature a little bit. She now sees things more clearly. She now sees, she now sees things, you know, more, more. Um, how will I say it? She understands it better. So sometimes I sat down there asking myself, what will make a woman change her mind from not wanting a baby to wanting a baby? The first thing that came to my mind is love. Sometimes when it fits, it works. It works and it flows. There, you are not when true love is there, you are not pushing it, you are not manipulating it, you are not trying to, to, to manipulate how it will go. You don't intimidate it. Free love is free love, it comes from the depths of your heart. Maybe for the first in her life, she is loving unconditionally. She is loving, not thinking, I'm not going to hold anything back. Career is not going to hold me back. The, the show will not hold me back. People, society will not hold me back. Whatever is out there will not hold me back. I'm going to give it 150. I'm going to go all the way in. This is a love that is unconditional. What does that love do? That love will multiply. And that is the multiplication. Now she's pregnant. She's trying to bring something. Because when something is so beautiful, you want to keep it. You want to, you want to keep a legacy. You want people to see it. If you listen, I want us to go back so you can hear what the guy said. He said, listen to this. Listen. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Can you hear me? Hi, baby. Can you hear me? Come here, come. <laughs> Hi, baby, can you the hear me? Did you hear him say that? They are listening to the baby's heartbeat. You let it right on it. Daddy, daddy, did you hear daddy. that? Let me come back. He said, did you hear that? Baby J, this is your daddy. A love that multiplies. An unconditional love that multiplies. So now you want it to last. You want to leave something behind. You want a legacy. You want that you know to bear fruit, to multiply and produce something. And that now is the baby. So whatever Jay-Z and Jenny have together is has produced this beautiful bundle of joy that we're going to see in a couple of months. That's the kind of love I'm talking about. Number three, maybe maturity. She is now matured to see that maybe career, fashion, money, all those things is not really what keeps you. You need a child. You need somebody to nurture. You need love. You need to produce more of you, not just her, not just Jay-Z, the husband, but also somebody that is a part of him and a part of her. Maturity. I think she's more matured now. She sees things differently. She sees things from a different view, a different perspective. So that might be the third reason that will make a woman say, I don't want a child in this marriage and go ahead to the next marriage and get pregnant. The first one I said, it might be through unconditional love. The second one might be because you want to multiply and leave a legacy so you want a child that will carry on the union, the love that two of you share. Number three, you may be maturity. Maybe she has matured. She sees the world differently now. She knows what is going on. Number five, comfort. Maybe she's very comfortable with this guy. She's comfortable to say, you know what? I want you to be the father of my children. You know what? I am so comfortable with you. That's number four. Number five can be trust. I trust you. I trust you that I want to share myself, a part of me. 
and you so that we can have somebody out there. I trust you enough to have a baby for you. I trust you enough to know that this is good and I feel good about it. So that's number five, trust. And then I talked about love. I talked about comfort. And then the nurturing side. When she started seeing her children, like Gabriel Union, she started seeing all her friends having children and stuff. So that made her feel like, you know what? Maybe I should go ahead and have a baby. Maybe I should have one of my own. So my sister, to answer that question, those of you that are saying, oh, some of my brothers will say, oh, that's not fair. Why didn't she have a baby in the other world? But this is what a woman goes through. This might be what was going on in her head. She was maybe distracted initially. Maybe she didn't. She hasn't come to her own and does not think that she is enough to go start sharing herself with another baby, with a baby. Maybe so many other reasons. But I think in my own unique opinion, the reason why a woman will decide not to have a baby in her first marriage and the marriage broke up because of that, only for her to get married in the second marriage, and now she's pregnant to have her own bundle of joy. The first reason might be it is unconditional love now. Number two, it might be because she wants to multiply. She wants to leave a legacy. She sees the union is so beautiful. Maybe I should have somebody else here that shows and represents the outcome, the multiplication, the out, the product of this union. Number three, maybe she's more matured now. So she sees things differently. She focuses now on what is really important and not irrelevancies. Maybe she's matured. Number four, she is comfortable with the guy she is with now. She Maybe this is the man of her dream. She's comfortable with him and thinks, you know what? Jay-Z can be the father of my child. And finally, the fifth, trust. She trusts this man with everything she got. She trusts this man with who she is and her aim, her objective. She trusts this man completely that she says, you know what? Because I trust you because I love you, because I'm comfortable with you, I'm going to multiply with you and bring this bundle of joy into the world to show the world that this is the evidence of our love, of our union. This is the evidence of our marriage. And my sister, Jenny, I say congratulations. Kudos to you. Kudos to your husband. I am so proud of you. Pregnancy looks good on you. And I think I will play this video one more. I got it from his Instagram. If you go to her Instagram, it's right there. I got it from her Instagram. So I'm going to let you guys listen to it one more time. And then we'll bring this video to a wrap. Okay? Listen to this again. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Can you hear me? Okay, baby. Jay, here I come. Here I come. <laughs> okay, baby. Jay, here I come. Can you hear me? Hey, baby. Hey, baby. This your dad. Do you see how proud he was saying that? I am so happy and proud of the two of you, okay? My sister, my brother out there, maybe in your first marriage, you didn't want to have a child, okay? Let me go out of here so I can come back in. Maybe in your first marriage, you didn't want to have a child. And you felt like, you know what? I don't want children. I don't want children. I don't know reason why. But now you are married or maybe you are in a relationship and you are thinking, oh, maybe I should have a child. My sister is maturity. Maturity, love, being comfortable with who you are, trusting the person you are with, and then trying to produce a legacy, something to keep, something that reminds you of the union of the love that two of you celebrate. That, those might be the reasons that will make a woman change from one thing to the other. Those can be the reason why a woman can say in the first marriage, I don't want a child. In the second marriage, oh, children, here I come. I love children, okay? Remember to give us a thumbs up. I need to hear from you. Go to the comment section, answer the question. What will make a woman divorce separate because she didn't want to have a child in her first marriage and all of a sudden in the second marriage voila she's pregnant why do you think why do you think she changed her mind what changed her mind go to the comment section i need to hear from you remember you are beautifully and wonderfully made by god that is why you are unique be kind to yourself and to each other mwah, mwah. bye bye